Hello everyone, welcome back, my name is Triplus and today I will be showing you how to launch your RetroPie installation with Kodi. So I'm sorry about the quality of this video but I do not have a capture card with, uh, with which I can uh, record my uh, Raspberry output so uh, I had to record it with my phone. Um, so the first thing uh, you should do is go to your RetroPie menu where you will have an option to configure your RetroPie, so RetroPie setup. Uh, from there you will basically go to a Linux uh, type of setting, uh, no, uh, option screen. There you will choose configuration and tools. From there you will choose auto start. And then you will uh, choose start Kodi at boot. So basically once you've chosen that, um, you're done. The next time you will launch your Raspberry Pi or your, your uh, RetroPie installation, you will basically launch with Kodi first. So let's test this. Exit all the screens by clicking exit or cancel. And then once you're back in your emulation station, you basically just shut down the system or at least restart the system. I made some cuts here and there for the simple reason that I am running a lot on my Raspberry Pi B+, which is still a very old model as, uh, as most of you should know. Um, so I made some cuts and yeah, the I'm running Secrage, Couch Potato, Transmission, uh, of course Kodi uh, with some uh, with an external hard drive and everything there is uh, is uh, it, it's heavy on the system. So as you can see here we started um, in Kodi. It, this is my Kodi installation. It has a Unity skin with a custom background. Um, yeah, it, it, it takes some time, like I said, um, but normally when you have a uh, faster Raspberry or when you don't have Couch Potato and Secret running in the background, it should be faster. Uh, so from here you basically go to the uh, to exit your uh, Kodi installation, just exit it, do not stop the system or exit the system, just click exit. And once that's done, you will basically go back to your emulation station. Um, it's, so yeah, there we go. We have emulation station and from there you can launch Kodi again and go back and forth. So that's basically how it's done. It's pretty easy. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, tell me. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye.